morning. Today is Friday and it happens to be our fifth day here in Iceland. We are actually in Akureyri and I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but it's the second biggest town in Iceland. We stayed, we camped here for the night and now we're going into the city center to sort of see the church, but also that pedestrian street where most of the stores are located. So I think there's a few really cute coffee places or some restaurants there. But this campsite is huge and you can see like the views are just amazing. So yeah, it was really windy this morning, but overall it was not bad at all. Uh, okay, so we are about maybe 10 minutes away from the city center from here and we're gonna find a place to park and then we are going to uh, probably walk around and then get some food. So, we are in the Blaa Cafe uh, in the town of Akarori and we are getting some brunch right now. Look how cute this little piano behind me. Alright, so we just went shopping at 66 Degree North, which I've talked to people here, one person, maybe two, and says that out of all the brands, that one is the one the best to get. So there's actually an outlet store here, as well as one in Reykjavik. So if you want better pricing, um, I asked and double checked. It's not because it's a different quality. It's because it is just like old season or extra stock. So in case you wanted to get something from Iceland, because everything is fairly expensive here. So yeah. We just got hot dogs from a hot dog stand. This is a pizza one, and this is a, I think a regular one. It has crispy onions, some uh, regular onions, mm -hmm. hot dogs, ketchup, and a lot of different sauces. Um, yeah. Uh, the two hot dogs were 1400 ISK total, so that's sort of how much it costs here. Hi. So I took over driving because I'm a faster driver. And we're trying to catch up to our friends. We left Akurari at about, was it one o'clock today? Um, after lunch, and we are driving back to Reykjavik, which is about four and a half hour drive. So we're making a quick pit stop at Borgianes. I'm not sure if I pronounced it right, but um, it's after that, it's about an hour away. Through this drive, we've hit wind, rain, sun, everything you can imagine in between. So yeah, um, I haven't been recording much because, well, I've been driving, but also because there isn't much to see. There's not really like waterfalls and stuff. I mean, the valley, the, the ocean is great, but there are no like specific landmarks that they recommend. So anyway, uh, we're gonna pull off to a, I think a small town to stretch our legs and then get to Reykjavik where we'll camp tonight for the last time. And then we'll move into like an apartment or like, Hotel type of thing. Um, yeah, so see you in a little bit. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> Don't know how the lighting is because it's getting dark now, but um, we actually pulled, we had a pit stop at a local swimming place. Um, there's actually a lot of local places where they have swimming pools. Every like little city or village has one. And so we stopped by, there was this pool slide. The push. Okay. Yeah, as hard as you can. One, two, It is 
our last day in this camper. It is now Saturday and we're actually going to pick up a rental car to stay in Reykjavik and um, explore around this area a little bit. So it's a little bit cloudy, a little rainy right now. We are in the Reykjavik area. We're driving towards Keflavik. Um, Keflavik because that is where we have to return this camper and it's also where the Blue Lagoon is closely located so that's where we're going after we pick up our rental car I hope everything goes well because now we're gonna have six people all squished into one car and um, I mean we're no longer camping in the car but still it's gonna be all of our luggage so hopefully that'll work let me just show you this is sort of the view that we are seeing right now see many different like climates, uh, different temperatures, different weathers, so this is this is different as well. are so good. Cool. How's the whale? Very good. Very tender. Tender. It kind of has a texture of beef, but yeah. the, a little bit of a okay. liver slash fish taste. Make it <laughs> So it's our sixth of the day and last full day here. We're at the tectonic plates where we're gonna go snorkeling uh, in the water and you should be able to touch both sides of the plate. Um, it's very clear, but I don't think anything really grows here that I... The weather is about 30 degrees Celsius, I think. It's gonna be pretty cold. Okay. Oh, that that that's icy cold. Hello, we're in our dry suits now, and uh, we're about to go in to that. But yeah, we're very snug. This is not gonna. It's gonna keep us dry except for our hands and our heads. So a little cold, but I think for the most part it'll be good. <laughs> we still have to put on our fins and our masks.
so we're inside the carrot crater right now. just finished lunch at late this one. Lunch. It's late lunch. It's really good. I'll show you photos. But now we're going to see a volcano. <laughs> it looks like that is the lava that's sort of cooled down and it's still smoky. So we're now on the edge of where it looks like it melted, um, or the melting had stopped. How's it feel? Cold. It feels cold? See, there's steam up there, so... It's hard. Yeah, and then you can see the little holes, the pores. Yeah. So I picked up one of these broken off ones and on the other side it looks like this very glossy caramel shade. It looks really cool. Where's the steam? You can see some steam coming out of this hole. Oh, it feels warm. Yeah. It's warm. It feels a difference. Yeah. But it's not hot. Yeah. Good morning. It is our last day here. It's actually not even a full day. We're heading to the airport this morning. Um, I haven't vlogged much. I haven't said much in the last two days because we met up with our friends and then we were in the same car. So I, it felt kind of like weird to, <laughs> to be talking out loud and like disturbing people. They were also playing music. So it was like difficult to hear but yeah today is kind of misty sort of the way that we came um, it's always sort of like this in Iceland with the exception of the east side where it was sunny uh, yeah so today we are heading to the airport we did a COVID test a couple days ago and we got it pretty much within like five hours uh, through text uh, or email depending on what you gave them and uh, we checked in and, you know, uh, our friends are flying United and they were asked if they got a negative test and we flew Delta, which also asked to, um, that we attest that we got a negative on the COVID test. So that's just the information for you in case you were wondering. Um, the airport is pretty small. We're flying out of Keflavik, which is the international airport, the only one in Iceland. There is a Reykjavik uh, airport, but that is for domestic flights. And so we're about 40 minutes away and we're going to head out soon. Hopefully there people are still coming in um, to, into the car. So yeah, uh, it's a pretty small airport. I'll try to show you if I could show you anything. We're hoping to also submit some uh, duty-free stuff, get some tax refunds, but we'll see how much time we have because it looks like we're running a little late already. We're duty-free now. There's tons of chocolates everywhere. As you can see, and they also have nom om noms here, which we went to the actual store too. So yeah, we're gonna try to use up the rest of our cash and go to our gate. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasure to have you with us once again. Uh, boarding doors closed, we'll see the necessary paperwork. I take this uh, opportunity to uh, welcome you on board on our journey over to uh, America, Minneapolis. Hey everyone, hope you can hear me. We're on the plane right now. We got through customs, security, we even got our uh, tax refund. It was really fast, the tax refund line. Um, and the security uh, TSA, there's no TSA pre here, but it was really quick too. 
um, there were a ton of questions once we got to the actual gate to fly back into the US. They had an additional questions um, about your trip, about what, what you do for a living, for security purposes. Um, yeah, but duty free was very small and simple and quick to get through as well. So we got here with, we didn't have any checked luggage, but we got here maybe um, about an hour and a half before our departure, which means they start boarding half hour, 45 minutes before then, and we still had enough time. So, yeah. We love coming to ICE when bringing people on this adventure. So we hope that you had a great Hey everyone, so we landed uh, in Minneapolis, St. Paul Airport. We went through customs. It was pretty fast. We have global blue entry, so uh, we didn't really need to stand through customs. If you checked a bag, you do have to pick it up and then go through customs and then put it back to check to your next flight if that's if you have another flight to go. We have about a four hour layover here, I think. So uh, we went to one of the lounges here, which has a golf simulator, which is Nathan's all over that right now. And um, on this side, there's like a big window. So there's a restaurant, but there's also like, you can watch from up here all the, I guess people watch, but there's a lot of stores here. There's also a really cute dog. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, it's basically there and says pet me. So he or she would like a pet. So I might, I might do that later. Hello, we are back in San Francisco in our car. We just picked it up from long-term parking and Nathan's paying on the way out now. Um, the second flight was pretty um, on time. We actually landed maybe like 10 minutes early. We didn't check any baggage, so we just basically walked out since we were transferring from uh, a domestic, it's a domestic flight, so we're transferring from Minneapolis to San Francisco, so there wasn't like a lot, a lot of uh, delays there. Um, yeah, so now we're in San Francisco, it looks really sunny, uh, very different than Iceland. And it, yeah, looks really nice. Uh, it didn't feel too cold or too warm. It's perfect weather. We are, I think there was some, there's still some smoke here, but yeah, we're driving home and then getting ready to relax because we're going straight back to work tomorrow. So yeah, it was really good trip and without a hitch it was a lot easier um, from the beginning of our journey so hopefully um, piecing all of this uh, together will make it a great video but it, yeah if you guys have any questions or if there's anything missing uh, leave in the comments below and I'll try to answer it but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this little trip and got some good insights from it um, I don't know if I mentioned, oh I, yeah, actually I don't know if I mentioned on our uh, way back, we did a COVID test in um, in Iceland, I think a couple days before. We You can either choose the antigen test or the PCR test. We chose the PCR test, which said it was supposed to be one to two days. We got it within like five hours. So um, yeah, we just, we just showed it at the airport before boarding the flight and yeah. Um, I forgot my sunglasses in the rental car, but luckily my friends found it. And so yeah, I don't have sunglasses right now, but yeah, it's really bright compared to Iceland. Okay, well, I will talk to you guys soon. Um, hopefully to, uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hi, Chester. <laughs>